One of the greatest things in iPhoto 11 is the program's new ability to make these beautiful slideshows based on the GPS information that's already inside of your cameras. And so cameras like the uh, iPhone will record the location where the photo was shot inside of the photograph. And so iPhoto automatically knows where all of your pictures were taken. In fact, we have just a quick selection here of some snapshots that I took on a trip to Scotland doing a production for Mac Create. If we look down on the bottom right corner, we see that it's showing us on the map where all of these pictures were taken. Now, I've got these photos back up in here, and what I want to do is I want to make a slideshow, but instead of having to tell people with a title slide about where I am, I want iPhoto to do that work for me. And so what I'm going to go do is I'm going to come through here, and I'm going to just select all these pictures, and I'm going to come down to the, hit the slideshow button. When I hit the slideshow button, iPhoto will bring up a choice for us of what kind of slideshow we want. Now we have a number of different themes. I'm not going to look at all the themes. We want specifically to take a look at the places theme. When we look at the places theme, iPhoto will automatically build for us a slideshow based on this theme and it's going to look up GPS information. I don't want to choose the use settings as default right now because then every slideshow that I do in iPhoto is going to be a GPS based slideshow. I don't want to do that. The music, we have some choices. I'm going to leave it to the song that's already selected, but these uh, songs are built into iPhoto 11. And so if you come under theme music, these are free tracks that you can use with anything that you want to do in order to make a slideshow. Uh, and I'm going to come over here in settings. I'll just notice it says play each slide for a minimum of 4.9 seconds. That's fine with me. I only have a few slides in this, so I'm not going to fit it to the music or else they would be on the screen for a very long time. Uh, I don't want to show the title slide. The title slide pulls that from the uh, name of the event or the album that you've made. In this case, I just named it Scotland iPhone. That's not really the title that I want. And uh, I'm going to have it repeat the slideshow. This is great if you're projecting it or leaving it up on a, a display for people to take a look at the slideshow during an event. Then I'm going to simply come here and I'm going to hit play and let's take a look at that slideshow. Now, the first thing that iPhoto is going to do is going to have to download the maps. And so what it's doing is it's looking inside of each of the photos. It's finding the GPS information for where those photos were taken. And when it's done downloading the information, it's going to start showing that slideshow. It actually uses a lot of local map information to do this. And so it's got to download a lot. It has to download the first time that you do this, but once you play the slideshow after this, it never has to go and download it again. So if you're making a slideshow for an event, it's a good idea to play it once through before the event starts, so you don't have to wait while it downloads the maps. Thank you. 
my slideshow. So you'll notice a couple of interesting things. The first of which was that it tagged almost completely perfectly all the locations. It knew I was at Glasgow Airport. It knew I was at Kirkwall Airport. Um, it knew the name of towns that I was in. Some of the towns were too remote to really register as where they were. In those cases, it just said Scotland. If you go into the places setting inside of iPhoto, you can tell something where the place is. And so if, for example, I went to places and I told something that where it said Dufftown was actually at the Glenfiddich distillery, then the slideshow would have displayed that. But it's just by default looking up uh, based on your proximity to things where you are. I think that's incredibly interesting. The second thing that you'll notice is that these two videos that we had played in their entirety. And so you can display a slideshow of not only photos, but your videos. And since these videos were taken on the iPhone, the uh, iPhone recorded the GPS information about where these videos were taken as well as where the photos were taken. It also put the photos in order for me based on the trip. And so the GPS information tells it when and where you were when the photos were taken. And so the uh, slideshow puts together those bits of information and it makes the path from one place to another. I didn't have to tell it when I was at which airport and where I went after that. It does it all completely automatically for me. I think this is an incredibly powerful reason to use uh, iPhoto 11. And the great thing is if you happen to be an Aperture user and you've got iPhoto installed, you also get this ability to make the same slideshows inside of Aperture once you've installed iPhoto 11. For more information on this, take a look at our website at maccreate.com.